Hello everyone, breaking news, and this is absolutely unprecedented. What is happening right now in the world is what a time to be alive. Bitcoin initially on this news crashed a bit on the fierce and then pumped like crazy. And now we are surpassing $60,000. And in my opinion, the bottom is in. Two good news. One good news is that Germany is out of Bitcoin, that they have nothing left to sell. But this is not it. This is not the reason why we're surpassing 60K now. The reason is because there was an, an assassination attempt on Trump, on Donald Trump. So when he was in Pennsylvania and he was on a rally, somebody was trying to kill him. So there was a shot taken and he was actually hit in his ear, which is if you think about this, this is the moment that this actually happened. This is absolutely crazy. Secret Service just jumped on him and the moment when there was a realization that there was an attempt on Donald Trump's life at a rally by a shooter, just like on the JFK's lab. The only difference is the JFK, unfortunately, didn't survive this because the actual bullets actually hit the target. Initially, the fear was that Donald Trump is dead. And because of this, crypto crashed a bit just for a second, just because he is for crypto, he is supporting Bitcoin and the Democrats, the Biden, whatever, who would have replaced him and it would have cost uh, Republicans the election, obviously, would have been bad for crypto. But as soon as he actually stood up, he held his hand up. And now, you know, I was never for or against him. I was always apolitical. But with this bullshit here, if you're still voting Biden, go do whatever you want, because now this guy, I think that this just cost Biden the election. I'm, I'm not going to theorize who is behind it and if it was just random or it was done by someone. Sometimes it's random. Sometimes these things are very far from random. I don't know. So anyway, I'm not going to say anything because I ain't got no information on this and I have no proof. But uh, once Trump stood up and there was confirmation that he is alive, Bitcoin pumped. So we went in Bitcoin from like 58,000 all the way to 60K now. And this happened literally a few hours ago and it's a weekend. So, and if we look at the actual accumulation from uh, also from the ETFs, which is incredibly important, this accumulation is just keeps going on. It's, it's just, I'm sorry, it keeps growing right here, 300 million, which was on Friday. So, Unless, and what is very important, look, we're actually pumping as I'm making this video right here. Same thing goes for Ethereum. Ethereum also, and our trade on Bybit, the 2.4 million, 2.3 million dollar Ethereum trade, I just woke up literally, uh, is doing quite well. Finally, we're actually going back into profit. And once we hit all time high, the profit will be close to a million dollars on that Ethereum trade. So, congratulations to you guys who actually stood very strong. Now, but it's very important te technically for us. Yeah, it looks quite nice for now, but I really want to see some volume because we saw some volume, obviously, in four hour chart and one hour chart. There was some nice volume, but we really want to see some good volume also in the daily. And in the daily, it's a bit meh. And most importantly, we want to see a close in Bitcoin above the 200 moving average. For now, we kind of closed on it, but we didn't close above it. So and for now, it seems like maybe today will be closed above the 200 moving average and also this support, which is the $60,000 mark right here. So we really want to close above here. And this would also because today is the weekly close in about 18 hours. So if we also close above 60K, this will be so bullish just because of the assassination attempt of the former president of and probably future president, Donald Trump, which is amazing for crypto. And again, I'm very sure that it had to happen to him, but this was amazing for crypto. And it's the sheer luck that this man has. It's insane. And we just got lucky. All the crypto people got lucky together with him. And remember, guys, that I'm trading on Bybit. And if you want a 42% discount on trading fees, and if you're trading with more than, let's say, $100,000, then use my link down in the description of this video to Bybit and create a Bybit account using my link, and you will get a 42% discount on trading fees. And also, you can get other bonuses. You can, I'll show you here. Here is the screen. Just pause it, take a look. These are uh, all the bonuses you can get, but they show out of the way. Not that important for this video. And I don't, I'm not going to even say about all the 
technicalities that we have in a market, all the seller exhaustion, the amount of accumulation from the wells, everything that we, that we are actually right now standing in the middle of the summer. And I told you before that we all we need is to, sorry, sorry. All we need is to survive the summer, at least till August-ish when the pump comes. So now the conclusion of all of this, is this the catalyst for the bull run to actually continue? And in my opinion, oh yes, it is. So again, take everything with a grain of salt. Yes, we have a very nice turnaround. The volume isn't that very strong, but I mean, it is the beginning. So we could see a lot of liquidations in this area. The liquidations will be absolute. Like I remember, if we hit 71,000 or the current all-time high, the liquidations will be standing at 15 billion. So something absolutely insane. And now we have no reason for the price to continue dumping unless, for example, probably one last fear one last big fear is not is not Mangax. It is recession. A lot of times, you know, before elections and especially when there is a recession fears and if unemployment spikes really fast, this could drive the markets down, obviously. So this, I think, is one last fear if we're going to have a soft-ish landing. Previous CPI reading, which I showed in previous videos, if you haven't seen them, please check them out. Uh, everything is there. All the data is here. I'm not going to bore you to death here with this. One last fear, guys is the recession and the actual, again, it could also benefit Bitcoin. You know, if there is recession, the uh, banks will start failing again, which, I mean, they're all failed anyway already, so it's all just garbage system. But if they start officially failing and the Fed and FDIC have to come and bail them out again, it will be what? Yeah, it's going to be short-term squeeze to the downside of Bitcoin, you know, one of those black swan events, who knows to what price, but then a huge pump. So we are, what I'm trying to say is that it's not definite, but we are almost fully out of the woods before the actual final huge parabolic move in Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrencies. And our Ethereum trade is going to do fantastic. And most importantly, one last thing that we're waiting for this week, which also could be the next last catalyst after this assassination attempt, um, will be the Ethereum Spot ETF launching, which it was approved. There are a few final approvals of the S1 forms, I think, among whatever forms among um, the, the big asset managers and companies in US for the ETF, I mean, the ones that are holding it. And this week is expected to be the launch of the ETF. And it could be a very good launch. It's expected to be a relatively good launch. Uh, and if it is, Ethereum is gonna pump like a motherfucker. So get ready. This is what we're waiting for right now. And the main fear that we have uh, all mentioned I'm going back to bed. Check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin the proper risk and money management. And as always, peace and love, Tom Scrollo. Stay smart, stay exceptionally rich, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.